Hello, this is Rebecca Rhodes. In this tutorial, I'll show you the steps in creating this dog's black nose using just two colors, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. You can see the full video in real time at my online school. First, create an accurate and balanced drawing indicating the main features, including the nostrils and this vertical line down the middle. Begin by applying a pale, watery gray around the lightest parts of the nose. It's a mix of ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. As this dries, apply fur markings around the nose with that watery gray. Use a light touch and note the direction and length of the fur. Next, apply the darkest parts of the nose with a black mix of the blue and brown. I do this to better judge the value of the mid-tones coming next. When this is dried, apply the mid-tones, the color between the lightest and darkest values. This is a gray mix of that blue and brown, a milky consistency. As the nose dries, apply deeper fur markings around the nose with flicks of the brush. This is followed by a watery glaze of pale gray to unify the values, the darks, the lights, and the mid-tones. This glaze also smooths the texture a bit. Apply a glaze to the fur markings. I love how these glazes unify the values and smooth the fur, and now it's necessary to reinforce the darks and mid-tones again. First, when the nose is dry, lift some color to reveal the lightest values. Go back into the darkest parts with the black mix of blue and brown, the consistency of cream in coffee or tea. Apply the mid-tones with a gray, the consistency of milk. Reinforce darker fur markings with a watery gray. If you're creating a darker nose, you might want to intensify the overall color. This is watery ultramarine blue at the top of the nose to represent the reflection of the sky. Moving down the nose, switch to watery black. Nearing the end of the painting, deepen the darks and mid-tones. Reinforce small details with color from the palette. And this black nose is finished. This full video is available at my online school, along with an outline drawing, the reference photo, and a list of materials. If you found this video helpful, please visit my website at RebeccaRhodesArt.com where you can join my online school and see this tutorial in real time, along with other step-by-step -step videos. Thanks for watching.